Hello, everyone. Here we go. All right. Uh, Art for Inspiration. Sean Gordon Murphy. Let's look at some artwork here. Uh, L. Resurger. 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, this book in America, it's called The Wake. All right. Scripted by uh, Scott Snyder. It's a DC black label book. Uh, this edition is black and white. Okay. Black and white edition. Uh, it's the the entire uh, miniseries collected, just like the Wake trade. But in black and white, it's from uh, ECC Comics uh, Spain. All right, so Spanish edition. Here for the art. I'm just going to do a quick uh, flip through here. Um, awesome work. A lot of brush work here. Uh, this book, a lot of stuff underwater. Uh, a lot of stuff on boats. Uh, as usual, uh, masterful storytelling, panel layout, page layout, rendering, a lot of brush inks. Yeah, this is one of the lesser refined approach, uh, Sean Gordon Murphy comics, in my opinion. It's, uh, uh, definitely has a little more of like a horror, a horror comic appeal to it. Um... But yeah, it's fun. It's just a really fun book to, to check out. Um, I cannot vouch for the story. It's kind of, eh, yeah, it's kind of Creature from the Black Lagoon kind of thing going with it. Um, definitely not a comic. Uh, uh, if you don't like capes, you don't like superheroes and stuff, you'll probably like this. If you're into like just standard... Uh, uh, sci-fi and horror, you know, there we are. Yeah. <laughs> it's been raining, still raining out here, in Southern Arizona. So my allergies are, uh, not my friend right now. Yeah, this is definitely a uh, a series of books illustrated by Sean Gordon Murphy that can get your creative juices flowing. Totes my goats. Yeah, because some of the um, some of the inks in this thing they feel very. Um, almost like needlepoint, like wispy, like a lot of these outlines are really thin. Um, so I'm not sure whether or not he did some of this stuff digitally. Or if he's just a psychopath and inks with the uh, pins and needles. Because, yeah, some of it definitely is like... I'm like, I don't even know what size that would be on an 1117. Like, some of these lines. Uh, see, ink is booked with, like, a, like a 005. I don't know. Then other stuff, like, that's super, that's super traditional right here, this kind of thing. Killer brushwork. Killer. That's awesome. Like that rendering on the nose right there. Yeah, terrific, uh, terrific design on all these pages. This layout here is just so awesome. I love this layout. This one, too. Some of the faces that he gives him are kind of comical um, when he doesn't uh, over-render this uh, mermaid-type character here, um, the evil fish guy. 
because then you get to see a little bit of like the 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 structure of the mouth and stuff and it just it looks kind of silly you know but i mean like most most like fish do right like most fish kind of have a funny little bit of a funny face I'm going to skip a few pages here. Let's try to keep this to less than 15 minutes. Skip way too many right there. Uh, this edition also, like I said, it's the ECC, ECC Comics release. Um, cool binding. It's very, uh, this reminds me of my library editions. I got, I got a, a bunch of the Hellboy library editions and they have this same sort of um, finish. Yeah. I know some of this probably you can't tell what's going on. Que pasa? De nada. All right. Let's see. We'll keep going here. I know a lot of a lot of this stuff. Even though um, it's got crazy good drawings and stuff, it can be a little hard to follow. Uh, being that it's not things that you're already comfortable with, like uh, flagship wise, right? like different characters and stuff like so um what you do is you familiarize yourself with it by reading it a hundred times you know i really like this panel so good so good uh yeah sean gordon murphy's really good with uh Characters, like just regular talking panels, just really good. That was not stressed back in the day when I was a, a young artist at Image. Um, we were all trying to sell pinups, basically. We weren't really focusing on a lot of the, the uh, aspects of what makes a cool talking, a talking page, you know, uh, without a lot of flexing going on in it. Um, yeah, these are terrific. I think most of us would just sort of our our crutch was uh, Mike Mignola. We would we would look at Mignola stuff, um, you know, if we were in a rut trying to figure out a, a fun layout for uh, verse to verse. That's cool. A lot of nuance in this book, man. He does a lot of stuff, uh, really cool stuff with, like lips and stuff, where he's like. Uh, little bit of a drop shadow to indicate the lip you know that kind of stuff's cool i've always really enjoyed uh seeing artists do that i try to do that myself a bit but i'm not real good about uh being a good shot caller with when to use it and when not that's an awesome face right there I like that so like i said it's uh yeah a creature from black lagoon on on crack i mean it's It's a cool book. Uh, trade paperback to this. You can probably grab for less than 20 bucks. Probably find it on an auction for about, you know, eight or ten with free ship. I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, put that past the internet. I mean any any DC book that isn't Batman, you know, rarely calls for over uh, retail. So rarely. I'll skip a few here. I'm doing, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay on time. It's an interesting page. I 
like I said, I, I am skipping a few here and there. Uh, I'm let, letting fate be the decider on these. Yeah, these are fun. I think that's the final issue right there. See this right here. That's a pretty cool layout right here. A lot of really rough inks going on in here. I don't really know. The face kind of dim is diminished here too. I don't know if that's a bad scan or if it's just the way he intended on it with the colors. Maybe the colors hooked it up. I don't recall that that splash. Super rough though. All right, and we got a little bit of gallery work back here. Um, what is going on right there? Oh, I guess it's still a story. It's been a while since I've looked at this. Just pulled it off my shelf. Let's see here. Maybe they don't. I think it's in the trade then. I think they had a cover gallery in the trade, is what it was. I do like this splash right here a lot. Yes, not much in, in a side of uh, on the side of bonus material, if I could speak. Um, yeah, so you got uh, all these connecting pieces right here. And then you get to see the original design layout uh, and some of his thought process there. And then the uh, trade. So, yeah, that's it right there. Uh, yeah, ECC Comics Spanish edition. Uh, haven't seen this in the States in black and white, uh, nor French or German editions. So I think they're the ones that got the uh, no urban comics edition, I should say, as well. So thanks for checking it out. Subscribe, hit the hit the bells, ring the dings, whatever. Thanks.